Hi friends, welcome to Extraordinary Connection. My name is Pastor Scott and I'm glad you're here. Normally when I do a devotion on Extraordinary Connection, I tend to do historical figures or interesting things from our past. Because we're coming up to the Christmas season and we're in the middle of Advent, I thought it would be fun to do Christmas traditions. Why do we do what we do? Why do we um, hang stockings up or put Christmas lights up or what? where did the manger come from? Uh, so as we count down to Christmas, as I do my devotions, I'm going to cover a different uh, element of Christmas that are traditions in our family, maybe in yours too, um, that we do. And today I want to talk about stockings. So where did the idea of hanging stockings by the chimney with care come from? Uh, if your house is like ours, you probably have a place where you are putting your stockings up for the world to see and for good things to be put in there. Um, we have two different spots at our house. We have our basement where all of our family stockings are located and we have our mantle up uh, in on the main floor. And in both, we are placing there because that's the tradition. But why do we do it? Why put old laundry up with the hopes of... of uh, toys or sweets or whatever being put in there. And our first temptation might be to go to the poem, uh, The Visit from St. Nicholas by Clement Moore, uh, which is, "'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there." That's about as far as I can go. But that tradition of hanging stockings was ancient, even by the time that Moore wrote it in the 1800s. The tradition and the remembrance of, of putting stockings out goes all the way back to the 300s uh, and into the country of Turkey. And there was a small town, and in that town was a pastor named Nicholas, where St. Nicholas comes from. That is the same Nicholas. Um, St. Nicholas was serving as a pastor, and he had a family in that town that um, the father died and he left daughters behind. And at that time, if a daughter didn't have a dowry, she wasn't able to get married. It was an important part of the marriage ritual. So um, Nick wanted to help. And what he did was um, he snuck into their yard and, and went to their window and found that the girls had stockings drying on the window at night and he went and he tipped in little bags of gold um, and filled their stockings so that they could get married. And you can see these um, icons are, are ancient too, probably from the, the Middle Ages, maybe even a little bit earlier. Um, so this, this tradition of, of why we do that has been around for a long time. And um, we even put little bags of gold into our, our children's stockings as well. Those are chocolate uh, covered in foil. But we've lost why we're doing that. We've forgotten what that story is really about. And so we blindly hang up these stockings and we don't think about that that story really was a story of hope. Those girls, without having a dowry at that time, had no future. They had no support structure. They um, had no income. They had no property. They had nothing. And what Nicholas did was he gave them hope. Hope in their darkest moments. Hope in their darkest times. You might be feeling the need for hope right now. This Christmas might be a really hard Christmas for you. It's definitely different, isn't it? Um, money might be tight. Family might not be able to visit. Um, you know, there's a, there's a lot going on this year. But have hope. Because that is one of the messages of Christmas. That's the foundational message of Christmas. Because we, if we have hope, then we can walk into that peace, into that love, and that joy that also comes from the Christ child coming this season. I want to read Isaiah 40, 31. Um, Isaiah is, is a perfect Old Testament book to read at Christmas time because there's so much prophecy about the coming Christ. And so this is Isaiah 40, 31. It says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. 
So as you go through this holiday season, as difficult as it might be, have hope. Hope in God. Hope that the Christ is coming. Hope that the mess we're in right now isn't the end. The kingdom of God will come and will restore goodness and justice and mercy and love and righteousness to the world. That's where we're placing our hope. So this one Christmas might be different, but we know that the end of the story has been written and it's a pretty good story. So as you hang your stockings up this year, don't think of them as a vehicle to receive sweets and goods. Think of it as a reminder of the hope that comes with Christmas. So thanks for listening, friends. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you again at extraordinaryconnection.com.